To get the best Madden team, go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy players, coins, and training directly to your account. And code MMG is 10% off. I actually can't believe I'm doing this, boys. But two wheel months ago, I made a really insensitive joke. And after, you know, my management talked to me, a couple other people, you know, discussed why it's not funny with me. And I realized just how many people I affect by making these really offensive jokes. Like, I think it's funny, but to them, it's actually a big deal. And I know, you know, cancel culture, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, like from the bottom of my heart, I can't believe I was making jokes like that and that I thought they were funny. Really just in reference to that wheel of mutt, you know, the one two, two days ago, you know which one I'm talking about. I made a comment earlier tonight about alopecia that I'm deeply ashamed of. I am deeply ashamed of. I pride myself and think of myself as a man of faith. I pride myself and think of myself as a... A man of faith. As there's a drive into deep left field by Castellanos. As there's a drive into deep left field by Castellanos, it will be a home run. And that'll be a home run. So that'll make it a 4-0 ball game. <laughs> and guess what, baby? I will put this headset on again. You think I'd apologize for a joke I made? Are you kidding me? Look at the look at this beautiful hair on my head. You think I you like the double give a day? The only thing I apologize for is having beautiful luscious hair that grows on top of my head. That's the only thing I'll apologize for. Hey, what's good, boys? The true final season kicked off to a hot start. We played a really solid Titans theme team and finally forced a rage quit with a monster hit stick fumble on the kicker turn from Devin White. What a beast. We also got some new players we haven't even seen yet since we got them from the rage quit spin. Got Ode Abushi, Danny Amendola, and Julio Jones free safety who is playing my cornerback three slot. Big boy. I don't expect him to get Moss so much. Uh, I'm excited. I have, ironically, I have Julio and DK as my corners. I have more wide receivers as corners than corners as corners. Anthony Barr, we did get one upgrade, but I'm hoping we can get a few more. I'm really glad I added the stipulation about TFLs because it helped us out. And we got Mean Joe Green and Michael Pierce who we haven't seen yet either. All right, boys, so much to upgrade. It's so exciting at the start of a Wheel of Mutt season. And I see whatever the wheel spin lands on because it just doesn't matter. It's going to be great. Okay. I don't know if I've gotten this one this year. 2,000 coins per yard with our appeal peak zone bubble. So whether it's rushing yards or passing yards, we'll try and keep track. If I'm off by a yard or two, it's okay because we're just keeping mental notes of this. But I get 2,000 coins. So I can't buy a player right now. But if we win, I can come back and get whoever I want. So we'll see on this one. Unfortunately, it does not help us right now. And we are in desperate need of a lot of different positions. So really not the spin we want right now. But... It's gonna help us for sure if I can get this. Oh my god, yes! Holy shit! That is a gold mine. That is an actual gold mine. We have to win now. All right, to keep it fair though, I'm not gonna go five Ultimate Legends fantasy packs. I'm gonna go one of all the packs that are like available in the store right now. Brandon Spike's already amazing. This is already so good. We've got a left end, we've got a middle linebacker, and we've got a backup halfback. Oh shit. 95 Larry Wilson? I can't even use him. I have Julio. I literally can't use him. And I, I'm not I'm not gonna look at this one early. I'm blocking it. Can't see it. And two Tojo is wide receiver that exists. And another heavyweight, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. That's huge. Wait, holy shit. What a pack. I got a left guard. I got a, a 95 overall. Dude, a gigantic wide receiver. Like, actually fucking gigantic. All right, now we'll go just an ultimate legends pack. Keep it simple. Give me some positions I need. Zach Pascal, no. What? Wait, what did I just get? I've never even seen that animation before. Oh my god. William Perry? Oh shit, I didn't even see what else was in that pack. Shit, there was more stuff in that pack. Oh my god. I just pulled a, an actual 98 Ultimate Legend. It's the best card on my team now. So I got William Perry, Pascal, Brandon Marshall. I also got a, another right guard. Oh my god. Uh, we'll go one Madden Machines. Oh my god. Dude, I might actually run inside stuff. I've never ran inside stuff this year at all because I've never had an insane D tackle ever. He's literally the best card on my team. Michael Carter and we don't get a good Madden. 88 Brandon Ayuk. Okay. Nothing really usable in that one. I'm not gonna lie. Now I'll go all pro fantasy and I'll see what else is available. Center is actually usable because I don't have a center at all right now. So he may be a 74, but he's still usable. Backup tight end. That's huge. And I guess Jamie Collins. Trey Waynes, Corey Lindsley, and a backup. Let's go! 
It's like all the positions I need right now. And I guess we'll close it out with a game changer pack. I didn't want to be too OP and just go five ultimate legends, but you know what? It worked because we did that base like ultimate pack or whatever that thing was, and that's where we pulled the 98. Josh Allen, Derek Watt, Joe Thune, Kevin Malway, better center, much better center. Well, take your prediction. I think this will take us up to an 86 overall. That's my guess. No, I think it'll take us even higher, bro. We might be like an 88. 98 William Perry. Holy shit. He's boosted to a 9. I have an actual 99 on my team right now other than Cooper Cup. And we'll go Michael Pierce down here where Mean Joe Green was. And my rush D tackle obviously needs to be William Perry. I feel like we just give him inside stuff because that's like what everybody runs, right? And then don't even look at it after that. Inside stuff. I'm actually also going to give him reach elite. I'm going to make this William Perry a monster, dude. And you know, I don't even got to move around any AP or nothing. I can just send it on him. So I got Richard Seymour right end and I got Demarcus Lawrence left end. Defense looks good. We're at 85 overall. I haven't even touched offense yet. We're going to be at least an 88 overall after this. Dude, imagine I slot in all these players in all these positions and then I fucking lose. It's not on the table. I cannot lose right now. Cameron Jordan left tackle, 93 overall. I got a left guard, right? I got Andrew Norwell. And I also got a right guard. Okay, so I'll put one of my right guards at right tackle. All right, so Joe Thomas right tackle. Dude, oh my God. So we're at 88 overall and I haven't put in my Ed Tutel Jones wide receiver yet. I also got a backup tight end, which was Hawkins Sox. This is a six foot nine wide receiver. I also got Brandon Marshall, Joey Gallo. Oh, I got Ayuk. Yeah, let's go Ayuk. 94 speed on the 88 Ayuk. All right. Oh, I got Derek Watt. I don't need Jacob Johnson. No scum kicks today, boys. DJ Hawkins winner. Get your winner back there, Hawkins Subin. A hard fucking 90 overall. That is so sick. The team is still not like cracked or anything. I've got a bunch of fucking randos still, but at least they're like semi good randos. You know what I mean? All right, Anthony Barr, we need a massive game out of you again, of course. So the challenge wheel is going to be massive here, just in case I'm losing. Obviously, I want to win. I'm going to try to win, but at least I can save him if I have to. Holy shit. It's 40 fantasy points of one player. So the last time we had something similar was 30 fantasy points with the QB, but I almost might have had like 40 with Trey Lance. But that was Trey Lance who could scramble like crazy. Carson Palmer can still scramble not that much. There's William Perry. Welcome to the top three. Elite Omega. He's got Randall Cunningham, Trey, but that is a Cowboys themed team. We played a Titans themed team first. Start playing Cowboys. You know, I played Madden on that Jumbotron once. Might check this down to his halfback. Whoa, 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 there's a guy on him. I'm going QB spy and playing underneath. Don't run it. Good. Hey, did we just sack him? William Perry! William Perry! How did we get that? I'm going with Anthony Barr. Oh, he rifles it over the middle. Good pass. Picked up a lot of that yardage back. If he goes corner out tight end, I might be in trouble. Oh, it's a crosser. Oh, it's a slip screen? All right, we're guessing pass. I know this is a pass. Play action. Go get him. Go get him. No. These are all open. Oh! I was just about to say, I can't get there that fast with Anthony Barr. Just gave him too much time. He wants to go halfback. Oh, he doesn't. That was super open. I feel like the best choice for 40 fantasy points is Bo Jackson. So we keep throwing the ball, and this is PPR scoring for fantasy. Really nice to see him on Randy Gregory, though. If he wants to do that the whole game, that is a sketchy pass. But damn it, it went through. Five-man rush. Ooh, put it over his dome piece. See if we can hold this one up. Oh, yikes. There we go. Cooper Cup. He makes a good tack with Larry Wilson, but we're sitting at third and five. That's open. Oh, bad ball. Horrible ball. Oh, I like the pitch though. I respect that. That was a really bad pass. It was super open. I don't know. I might have just completely goofed that one. I really don't know. Wow. That was a hell of a throw cross body. Get ready for a pass. He's going to roll out. Oh. Oh, yes. No momentum. Oh, Sean T. You got to hit him a lot harder than that, buddy. Oh, yes, sir. Horrible. We got to come up with that, boys. If we want to win a game like this, we got to come up with that. Right here. Little interception on the goal line. Really our only option. Throw back across to this. Oh, I saw it just a little bit too late. Oh, okay. A little run play. Oh, it's not. Hey! That would have been big. Big fumble right there. Hopefully we'll be in a position here where we can force a field goal. Spectacular defense. Great defense, boys. 10 to 0, not fun. But if I score with no time, then get ball half, I still feel good. I don't think he's going to cover the seam. Ooh. What is with these passes? I make this 
passes all the time. Is there something about Carson Palmer that I'm missing? I make these throws routinely. Oh, this is bad. I literally throw that like four times a game. That same pass. Wow. Dumbass. Dumbass! You just got handed the ball and you're gonna hand me a pick six with Sean Taylor? I'm pissed at you. Seven to 10, it ain't over till it's over. That is such good news though. He's not unstoppable. I'm not playing a super sweater. This is a game I can win. Slip screen. Slip screen. Go it, Anthony Barr! I'm greedy! What are you throwing? That's an upgrade, Anthony Barr. I need these fantasy points. Bo Jackson, though. Let's make a good read. Beautiful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! I wish I could have returned that with Anthony Barr, but we jumped so high that he fell on the ground, which is unfortunate. Absolutely monstrous play. All right, a little bit of clock chewage there. Bo gets a really nice push. 12 seconds on the clock. That's a touchdown, Bo Jackson. And we are closer to those 40 fantasy points with Bo. Bo has a majority of my team's yards right now. It's definitely looking good. That is how you fucking turn a game around. Defense wins championships. If I can put this in, we can lock this game up. Like if I put this in the end zone, not a field goal, end zone. Cooper Cup is so butt naked wide open on this, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, he's not. That's man. I forgot about my wheel spin with RPO Peak Zone Bubble. Oh, shit. I have to be using RPO Peak Zone Bubble. Third and 10. That is the throw I've been trying to make, Darren Waller, that I... Whoa, he's up on his feet. Nice. I got so many players in the five times start backs, I forgot. 2K per yard, RPO Peak Zone Bubble. Let's bring it out. And you know what? This is a PPR point for Bo Jackson. It actually works out really well. Does he follow? He follows. Oh my God. He could have just absolutely pick six to me, no question. Wait, he doesn't follow at that time. Uncool. But guess what? Michael Carter has got five yards. I've now got nine with RPO Peak Zone Bubble, which is 18K. Not a lot. He's not following. He's not following. Please block. Please block. Fourth and six. I'm going to make a really, really ballsy play here. It's either Darren Waller or Bo Jackson. <laughs> Bo was so open, I clicked the wrong button. I just clicked the wrong fucking button. Bo was so open, it's not even funny. What? Who are you? Who the fuck? Micah Parsons. Yep, we're down there. We're down in there. No, what is that animation? Come on, come on. Somebody. Yes, sir. Fourth and one, do it again. I dare you. Come on. How? With the guy in his face, he just slings it and hits it. I can't believe he hit that. I'm actually just gonna hand this off. Let's go, I, I wanna try the run. Oh my. He's so open. Great ball. Delayed blitz. Oh my God, you're so open. It's not even funny. Ayuk! I have had two tall Jones as a check down and I'm pretty sure he's open. Yeah, he's there. Look at two tall. <gasps> he's so fast. He's so big and he's so, what? Oh my God. I've been sleeping on my 95 overall this whole time. That's exactly what I wanted. 21 to 17. I kind of wish that touchdown had gone Bo. Cause I don't think I, I definitely don't have 40 fantasy points with Bo. He's having a good game. He's probably sitting at like 25 right now, maximum. Best case scenario, we get a stop here and we score Bo. Snaps it with one second. Almost a TFL. Actual handoff. Oh, good hit. I'm covering everything here. Oh shit, not good. All right, sweet. I like when he does that. Oh shit, I tried to call timeout, didn't get it off. Let's go! We actually gotta stop. That was PA boot over. It was. He was just trying to chew the clock and then run a fucking cheese play. What a loser. I'm pretty sure this is how you can stop it. This isn't it. I don't know what he's running. Uh oh. Oh no. I don't know what he's gonna hit me with here. Ramsey, you could just end the game, you know that? If you just pick that off, you end the game. Just in case he's running PA boot over, I want to be ready for it. A few different things he could throw here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! DK fucking Metcalf! Nice cheese play, bud! I finally stopped it! And that's it! Let's go! Defense with a massive step up! Metcalf, you dog! You dog! It's the final season, baby. We win those. No challenge wheel, no rage cut wheel, but we do get an Anthony Barr upgrade, and we keep all the incredible players we added. That William Perry had an insane sack, too. Look at that score graph. That is one of the coolest things ever. Two and oh. <gasps>
I have the peak zone bubble thing. God, I forgot about it. I forgot about it again. I think I had nine yards with it. Guys, that was such a close game. I completely forgot. I had nine yards. Peak zone bubble. So I have 18K. <laughs> I could probably get a decent right guard. Let me get, let me get Vitae. Let me get the lion. There's a Vitae. Halapula Vati Vitae. Halapula Vati Vitae. It's a tongue twister, but it's an 88 overall. And my nine yards on peak zone bubble got me that. If I had paid more attention to that peak zone bubble, I could have gotten an insane card. Guess what? I would have lost. I won that game by four points in the final seconds of the game. Two and oh, so we got some wiggle room to lose some games. I don't plan on it, but we got some wiggle room. And I'm going to call it for the video. William Perry stays. Team clutched up. And that's going to be an A, boys. I love you. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, Anthony Barr. <laughs> in the middle of my outro. I remember my Anthony Barr upgrade. Wow, you know, he's still pretty fucking ass. <laughs> but we're gonna get him there, bro. But all right, boys, that's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Peace.